Hello, beautiful souls. When you sign up to be in a twin flame connection, there's a certain vibration that you align with. Okay, this connection is extremely rare, and when you signed up for this type of life, okay, you're kind of chosen for this because you have the capacity to experience life and love on a powerful level. You have the ability to literally change the world by just emanating this higher vibration. But what's also interesting about a lot of twin flame connections is that although these souls have this beautiful light energy, you have also experienced extreme darkness. Okay. And this ties into that divine violence, that yin and yang energy. You both share a much deeper understanding of things that may not make sense to a lot of other people. And your masculine is realizing this energetically and also subconsciously. That in these moments where they were pulling away from you, or where they ghosted you simply due to the intense emotions that they were feeling, you both were being protected. You were being protected from their lower energies, and they were being protected from taming something very, very sacred here. So this is what they want you to know, Divine Feminine. This is why they feel this intense urge to look you into your eyes, and to tell you that they understand what's going on here on a soul level. Okay. So something very spiritual may be happening within their life here. Something may definitely have triggered this emotional response here where they're definitely beginning to view things in a totally, totally different light. Okay, it's like they were trying to make sense of who you were and where you came from and why you have this uncanny ability to kind of ignite something within them that they don't have the power to turn off. And they projected a lot of this on you. But this realization is definitely hitting them like a ton of bricks. So a lot of the times when it comes to these types of connections, they are extremely triggering. And it is so easy to personalize what your person is doing and to kind of project their shortcomings onto yourself. And in these moments when your person had to kind of withdraw from the connection, you were being protected from whatever is inside of them that needed to be purged because of how intense this connection is. It's extremely easy for you to get caught in the crossfire, Divine Feminine, and although you and your masculine together may feel like it's only you and them, like literally you're the only two people in the universe, there are so many moving parts to this, and at times, if you don't have the ability to separate the action that your person is taking from the emotion that it can cause, you can inflict a great deal of pain on yourself. So, if you are in a place where you have been rejected in any type of way, Know that you are being protected, Divine Feminine. And I feel like a lot of Divine Feminists may know this already, you know, maybe on a subconscious level. But this is just showing you a close-up of how they feel. Even if they are at a distance, they feel you. From Divine Muscular. Type yes, if you believe. 